So what do you do when you're taking things apart? I'm going to look at several examples of activities that are helpful in taking apart problems and taking apart solutions. The first one is make diagrams. Diagrams got a bad name because of UML. And uh, UML has a lot of problems. This is the sort of class hierarchy for UML. So you see um, behavior diagrams on one side and structure diagrams on another. And inside behavior diagrams, you could have use cases or timing or what have you. Uh, and the problem with this siloing is it's like static typing for diagrams. Your diagram can be a this or a that or the other thing. And basically what has happened in practice is that UML encourages you to take your thoughts and chop them into smaller and smaller pieces until the pieces that you're working with are too small to be useful. Good design is the opposite of this. When you're taking things apart, you need to have a visual canvas where you can see all the elements that are in play. So here's an example diagram uh, from the work that we did on Closure 1.10. Uh, the feature is uh, called Preppel, although that doesn't really matter here. But the point I want to make about this diagram is it combines things that would be in a half dozen different UML diagrams. It shows multiple subsystems. It shows encapsulation boundaries and seams. It shows the flow of time and the flow of information. It shows function invocations. It shows data formats. It shows freeform notes. What this is is a snapshot of somebody working on a problem that captures everything that they need to understand how to move forward on the problem. So it's not adhering to some uh, official guideline for I'm going to make this kind of diagram or I'm going to make that kind of diagram. And in particular, don't copy this. Do not leave this talk and make a diagram that looks like this. Unless you're designing Preple, that's guaranteed to be wrong. Uh, every diagram can and should be different. And this kind of work is invaluable when you're planning the code you're going to write. And it's invaluable again five years later when you have to pick up the code in maintenance. We don't code on the Datomic team without pictures like this in play. 